Welcome back to the Seaboard Central, everyone. This is a little bit late, but here's the May 2020 layout update. And there's a lot that's been happening this past month. Including weathering these two scale trains locomotives. The 3011, the SD40T-2, is working out its last remaining years on the Seaboard Central. And this HLCX is a lease unit until uh, some more newer power shows up on the SC. After making the set off, train 441 heads over to North Yard Track 1 to pick up the outbound cars. There's actually three tunnel motors on the Seaboard Central. Along with this 3011, there's a 3010 and a 3012. And they are in the last units that uh, received the red and gray paint scheme before they switched over to the blue paint scheme. Let's listen to these two 40s as they throttle up and pull this heavy cut out of North Yard Run. To add some prototypical fun to the operating sessions on the Seaboard Central, I devised this new Seaboard Central Train Routing and Classification Plan, otherwise known as the Track Plan. This is for Griffin Yard. In this list, each one of the yard tracks um, in the yard, North Yard 3, 2, 1, then you have the main line in the passing side, and then South Yard 1, 2, three and four. It also shows the total capacity and car lengths for each track and what each track is designated for. And this uh, helps it, makes it life easier whenever you're classifying inbound traffic like was just shoved off by train 441 into South Yard track number one. Now I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is North Yard three, North Yard two, North Yard 1, here's the main line, the passing siding, South Yard 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it makes it a little bit easier to understand the paperwork. Here's a track inventory list of the cars currently in South Yard right now. And uh, this shows South Yard 1 and the cars that just arrived. South Yard 2 has got that making block. And South Yard 3 has some miscellaneous cars. So let's classify South Yard 1, the inbound cut. And I want to just look at these class codes. And this is the class code column. And I know from this other sheet that tells me where I need to put the cars from the class code. So just looking at the list, what I want to do is make a cut here. And I'm going to set these two cars Actually, yeah, those two cars, then that one, and then those. And this one will go to four, this one will go to three, this one will go to two. And we'll do those first, and then we'll come back, and we'll get these. These need to go to three, and then these need to go to four after I pick up the two that I'm going to temporarily place in track two. So I'm just going to set up the camera here. And we'll classify these cars with the Tag 80 engine.
Just stretch it out and see if it's good. Yep. I'm going to pull it down and make the cut now. All 14 of these cars were actually weathered this past month. A lot of them have Rapido wheels added, cut levers, and magnetic air hoses. So the first move is to shove two 60-foot boss cars in track number two. And it looks like I've got room so they'll fit nicely. Next up is to put this gondola full of rail in track number three. And this rail load is removable. So it's a, another interesting car that will be going to the team track for the track supervisor. We'll just set him in the clear. Alright, next step we're going to set two covered hop hoppers that are class coded as B45s and they need to go in the track first because we're actually building an outbound train G55 that will run later in the day. We just want to set it in the clear far enough back so that when we couple back up to it, we won't be coupling into a curve. So Let's get it in the straight track and then we'll make the cut. Alright, let's go get the other cars for track one. These three tank cars I'm coupling to are scale trains cars and for 2015 this type of tank car would have been brand new so I weathered them to simulate a brand new car I actually put a gloss coat paint job on it all right let's pull them out we'll classify the rest of the cars These next three cars are all Athern cars. I actually changed the numbers on all of them. And special attention to that blue SC box car. I really like how that one turned out. We'll shove these all the way up to that covered hopper in track number uh, three. We'll pick up those two DWC box cars out of track two and head back over to track four. And that'll have the train G55 built. All right, let's shove them in the clear. And then we'll have classified the entire inbound cut of cars. Hope you've enjoyed this operating session on the Seaboard Central. Be sure to come back next month for more updates, and thanks for watching.